Hey everyone, it's Carrie. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making this uh, watercolor, almost long one layer card. Um, I intended these colors. I was actually um, inspired by this color combination by, um, if any of you, I say especially ladies, I guess, um, if, you, if any of you watched the... Um, uh, any like beauty gurus here on YouTube or just no makeup in general. Um, if you know, obviously the brand Mac, um, they have brought out a new uh, collection of theirs. Um, it's called, I think the wash and dry collection. And this, um, their collection has these three colors on their packaging. And it kind of inspired me to use these colors and create something with it. So that's the inspiration by the hot behind the color combination. So I wanted to share that right off the bat. Um, so anyway, I'm going to be using my little distress inks here. Um, I finally completed my uh, collection here of the mini distress inks and I'm so excited um, because I think I'll use them more and really try to incorporate them more into my card making. Um, I had the full size pads and, and I, and there was nothing, there's nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with what I had, but I really do feel that, um, I think I get more use out of the little ones because if I do anything with them, I'll just use them for, um, minimal techniques or watercoloring like I'm doing today. So anyway, so I've got a piece of, um, Tim Holtz watercolor paper here and I've got a piece of just regular typing paper and I folded that in half and I laid that underneath my acrylic block here and I'm using the obviously as you can see I'm using the acrylic block as my little um, palette but I put the paper underneath there so you could see the color better on camera so I'm putting down the um, mustard seed I've also got red barn and evergreen bow and I think these um, three colors are really pretty combination really bold and bright and fun so um, I'm kind of keeping this I guess under control as far as the watercolor and how the placement is going to be. Um, I got my little thing of water here and I'm using some um, brushes from uh, Claudine Helmuth. Um, I really do like these brushes but I'm first laying down just a wash of water here onto my um, card stock and like I said I'm kind of keeping this um, as a under control um, way I'm putting down my watercolor. So <clears throat> I'm first going to go in with my uh, mustard seed. And I really, like I said in the beginning, um, this is what I want to, I want my colors to be really, really bold and not too watered down. So I'm not going to add a whole lot of water to my colors here. So, um, so I'm going to start off with the mustard seed. I've already laid, de laid down some color here and I'm just kind of keeping this in like um, a rectangle shape. I do want a little bit of um, water, of course, to get the uh, colors moving, but um, I'm just kind of placing that and as, you know, in the strategic places that I want it. So um, as I add the new color, um, the next color, um, as you'll see a barn door here, um, I'm going to carefully um, place my color down and then whenever it's time to bring the two colors together um, I'm going to carefully do that because I don't want them to meld too much together. Um, I want them to overlap just a little bit but not a whole whole lot. <clears throat> so um, I really do think it turned out you know pretty pretty well. Um, um, it, it, it pretty much is what I had in mind in my head. So um, so now I'm going to go ahead and um, put down the evergreen bow. <clears throat> so I'm just kind of cleaning off my brush here. And I thought I had it cleaned off more than that. So you could see some residual red was left over. That's okay because the um, evergreen bow is going to cover that up. So it's not that big of a deal. And it is watercolor. So um, if it did, you know, if it didn't cover it up, it's okay. So, but um, luckily, um, you know, it wasn't a big factor. So, and you really got to be careful, especially if you're melding um, the two colors of the red and the green, it will kind of create a purple color, but I didn't want them to, um, I didn't want them to get, you know, I say meld a lot, but I didn't want them to um, 
connect <laughs> all that much either because like I said I don't want my colors to be all muddy or whatever I really want I want to keep them as much separated as possible um but but you know kind of um come together a little bit so I think you understand what I'm saying I, I'm trying to explain it as best as I can but you see here at the end result what I'm doing so I had gone ahead and he um, heat set this with my heat tool just to speed up the drying process and now I'm just going to go ahead and I had it added some um, took some of the water just on my fingertips and um, just flick some water onto the uh, watercolor piece to get that those droplets on there it kind of makes it just a little bit more um, I guess more natural I guess you'd say so um, I really really think that it turned out well so I'm going to use this stamp set here today from Simon Says Stamp. This is one of my favorites from them. I really do love um, this uh, big, bold sentiment. Um, and so whenever I had this idea in my head, I wanted these bright colors and then a really bold sentiment to go on top of it. So that's why I chose this one today. And you can never have too many birthday cards, in my opinion. <laughs> so, um, so I'm inking this up with my favorite black ink, the VersaFine Onyx Black Ink. And getting that really good and covered and then I'm just going to stamp this down with my stamp press and get it in the place that I want it and um, like I said before I really really do like this ink and because it gives off such a really crisp bold black um, impression so that's why I love this ink so you can see there um, how wonderful that just makes it pop the whole thing pop so I'm going to go ahead and remove my um, tape here. And I'm going to go ahead and die cut this piece down just a little bit. I'm using the scallop frame from the uh, Mama Elephant frame frame set. Just to give it a little decorative edge. Um, and, and plus I wanted to, whenever I place this onto my um, card base, I wanted you to see um, a little bit of that black border that I'm of the card base. So... I'm going to quickly run this through my Sizzix die cut machine and you can see how that turned out and next here I'm working on my card base this is a top folding card it's still an A2 size card but um, but I've got it as a top folding card so I'm going to go ahead and place some foam adhesive onto my uh, piece here um, since we gone ahead and taped the piece down whenever we were working on it and I didn't add a whole whole lot of water um, it didn't warp a whole lot um, but I still like to add foam adhesive to um, pieces like this whenever I am watercoloring just to ensure that it does lay flat so I'm going to go ahead and um, just line this up um, in the center of the card base and um, my next, I'm going. The magnetic, my next step is going to add just a little bit um, a, um, accent or shimmer to the stars. I'm going to use, of course, my wink of Stella. Can't do that without wink of Stella, you know. So um, I'm going to use my wink of Stella, and I'm going to um, make sure that I was focused there for you guys. So I'm going to add just a little bit of shimmer. And then I'm going to go in with um, the uh, Pico Embellisher. Um, it's the clear. It's the Irresistible. This is from Su uh, Sukineko. This is one of my favorite products right now. And so I'm going to zoom you guys in here. And so you can see this just a little bit better. Um, the fine tip that it has and for application it's really really easy to do this even though obviously it's not perfect uh, it doesn't have to be perfect but um, it's a whole lot better than if you were to do this with just a regular um, like glossy accents or whatever since that tip is not as fine as this one um, it just makes it uh, a little bit easier and so and this won't take too long to dry either because it's not as thick as glossy accents even though I do still love my glossy accents I still love it um, this won't take as long to dry so there you go guys that's our card for today thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see y'all in my next video